Hello there. Welcome. Welcome. <laughs> I don't know why, but for some reason I thought my voice sounded really weird there. Really weird. Hello. Hello. <laughs> hey, welcome. Welcome to the Video Game Valley. Uh, YouTube notifications are not working super well right now, so there's not... <laughs> Not a, not a lot of people tuning in at the moment, but they'll fill in. They'll fill in. I'm also streaming a little bit earlier than I usually do, on account of I, w I want to try playing just a little bit more today, because I have I really want to beat this game today. I want to get <laughs> want to get this game done. I want to finish this game, and I feel like if I start a little bit earlier, then it'll take longer before I get too tired to finish. <laughs> So we might be streaming for a little bit longer than an hour today. We'll see. I'm I'm loading up. I'm loading up my my mail app because I I did email myself a walkthrough last week, <laughs> and we got through half of what I emailed myself. Which means we can probably finish this today. That's just my guess. Where were we at the end? All right, we finished. We finished Hagrid's garden. We finished that. We just got Quidditch now. Yeah, we got some Quidditch. Some, some Quidditch. We got some of that. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and hit the button. Look at that. There it is. Hogwarts. Vegetables with pants. Thank you for the five dollars. Glad you're here tonight, Jason. I had a rough day, and your stream always cheers me up. Well, sorry you had a rough day. Vegetables with pants. That sucks. Uh, I'm trying, <laughs> the, the whole day today I was thinking about, like, when people tell me they have a rough day, what is the best thing to say? And the answer I came up with was, I have no idea. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, that sucks. It does suck. I had an okay day. Mentally, not so great. I, I had a little bit of the depressions today. Just a tiny bit. Not like... Not the usual depressions I get. Kind of my, uh... Every couple of months I get a specific kind of depression where I just feel like... Like, I've, I'm wasting my entire life. <laughs> like, like I'm, I'm worthless and my life is worthless because I've wasted it. Not just because it's worthless, which I kind of have like a little bit of that all the time no matter what. But today... But today in particular I had the, uh... It's worthless because of my decisions... <laughs> <laughs> kind of depression, so uh, I'm I'm doing okay though. Like I I have a handle on it. So vegetables with pants. Sorry you're having a rough day. I I sympathize with you, on account of my own experiences with having rough days. And I'm taking those feels. I'm taking <laughs> I'm taking those feels and integrating them with yours, in a way that probably doesn't translate one to one. But I hope. Hope you're having a better time in the next day. The next day, tomorrow. <laughs> in the next day, which is tomorrow. Free Redmond, thank you for the five dollars. Uh, Rec Rectimus double, uh, uh, double up because <laughs> I just made your butt grow another butt. Cool, cool. One one additional butt now. I got, I got two of them. Two whole butts. Wow, great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for this gift. Psycho Trip. Thank you for the two dollars. I saw you mentioned in chat. You said, "Crap, I mentioned to send you a message, Jason." If you want to just send it in regular chat, I'll go ahead and read it. <laughs> there's there's been a number of super chats that have come uh, ended up like that, with just the message kind of never happening. I don't know. I've never sent a super chat, so I don't know why that happens, but apparently it's a thing. I'm watching three ninjas on my phone while I'm streaming this on my computer. Cool, I'm competing with three ninjas. <laughs> uh, I haven't seen that movie in a while. How is it? How is it holding up? How is three ninjas holding up? Oh, by the way, it's a wonderful day in the valley. It's 72 degrees today. It's a perfect, a perfect 73 degrees. 73. Did I say 73? No, it's 72. God, it's, my, 
My whole world is falling apart. You, you can hear it. <laughs> oh. I was just trying to say that what you do matters, Jason. You've had a positive impact on my life and my friends. You're one of the reasons I'm in my current career and I appreciate you for it. Thank you. Thank you, Psycho Trip. I, I appreciate it. I, I do appreciate the words. I appreciate the support you're all giving me. I'm I I assure you I'm doing okay. This is this is a thing that just happens and I've learned how to deal with it and keep moving on. It sucks that it happens, but you know it's it's a thing I can deal with. Hephaestus, thank you for the two dollars. I got two dollars. Two whole dollars for you, two of them. Thank you. Hephaestus, thank you for the two dollars. <laughs> Terry, thank you for the two Canadian dollars spent today retexturing teeth. Tedious work it is. It sounds like <laughs> sounds like tedious work. So it sounds like super tedious work. Gotta gotta retexture all those teeth. Every every tooth. All the teeth. <laughs> each each one. Well I hope that goes well. I hope it goes okay. Mike, thank you for the five dollars. You are a musical god. Here's money for your beautiful songs. Keep up the good stuff. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Mike. Matt, Mike. Thank you, Mike. I appreciate it. I put I posted some stuff in the the Discord. You can you can check you can check out the uh, the link to the Discord in the description. There's a community run Valley Discord, and it's pretty good. It's, it's pretty good. I like it. All right, a lot of good people there. My sister and I bonded over your over your videos. She actually bought me the Ghost House book. We <laughs> was making reference no one gets other than Film Cow fans. I hope I hope you enjoyed that book. That was I haven't I haven't gone back to it in a while. Like. Since, literally since making it, I haven't gone back and reread it, so <laughs> I hope it's still okay. I hope it's still funny. Jason, I got Blueberry Boat by Fiery Furnaces, and it's amazing. Oh, good. <laughs> that is that is quite possibly like one of the most acquired tastes albums ever made. So I'm good. <laughs> it's like I'm gl I'm real glad you like it. One of those albums where if I recommend it to like a hundred people, one of them is gonna really like it. Uh, 70, 74 of them are gonna hate it, <laughs> and twenty-five of them are gonna be like, "All right, it's fine," and move on. But for that one person, for that one person, it's just, uh, it's just wow. <laughs> I read it when I get my depressions, thanks. I'm glad collected all the Glad it helps for that. For the antidote to common poisons. It's kinda why I make the pretty much everything common for that <laughs> <in the large laughs> for that purpose. Over there. What are you what are you saying, Snape? You can fill your potion vial when required. Oh. Uh, alright. Against Slytherin today. Good luck, Potter. Then again, is Slytherin like super good? Yourself against a troll. A little game of Quidditch should be easy work for you, even if it is against my boy. Oh, we saw this before because of the my boys part. I remember the my boys part. <laughs> my boys. <laughs> oh, Snape's Snape's real defensive of of his boys. It's like no one's gonna be my boys. <laughs> Just hearing, just hearing Snape say my boys, it's too, it's too much. It's too much. No, you shouldn't say that. You shouldn't say my boys, because now, now I view you as a person who says my boys. <laughs> my boys gonna win the Quidditch match. My boys. So proud of my boys. <laughs> Helen loves cats. Thank you for the five dollars. 
I've been sick, but coming to the valley always cheers me up. You're amazing, and I'm glad you exist, Jason. Keep doing what makes you happy. Thank you, Helen. I'm... I'm glad you exist. And also, I'm glad that I exist, too. <laughs> I have... I have constant anxiety about not existing, so I'm real glad I exist. I'm super, super happy about it. That was... disturbing. Yeah, Snape saying my boys. Smiling. <laughs> and saying my boys. It'll really wipe the smiles of their faces if we win. Just as long as we're not wiping you off the field. Come mm -hmm. on, Harry, follow me. But f wait, follow you? Where are you going? <laughs> Is this it? Oh, you just disappeared. Cool. All right. Alright, alright, we gotta speed run this. I really wanna beat this game today. Hi Harry. Big match against Slytherin today. Uh, okay. <laughs> I don't care. Don't talk to me, Rod. Stop. I shouldn't have clicked you. Oh my god. Rod, you can't <laughs> you can't keep You can't keep apparating a couple feet, Rod. Rod, it's a huge pain in the butt. I have some, uh, some behind-the-scenes Video Game Valley stuff. Uh, for the past couple months, I've been running these streams through this converter thing that converts, uh, converts RCA into HDMI. It's just, like, separate, separate box, and I used it to replace the VCR that I had hooked up. And it turns out, it turns out for some reason the VCR works a lot better with the GameCube than this box does. This box works, like, much better with literally every other system, but the GameCube, for some reason, <laughs> the GameCube, it just donks up all the dark games. So, like, Eternal Darkness, like, that was showing up way too dark. And, uh, the dark parts of this game were showing up way too dark, and I was like, man, what's going on? I'm not having this problem with any of the dark games in any of the other systems. Like, Silent Hill was fine. But then this game, this, <laughs> this system. And so I tried running them through the uh, the VCR, and it, it was like, oh, it's fine here. It's totally fine in the VCR. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why the GameCube runs real well through this VCR. So I'm running stuff through a VCR again. That's right. <laughs> that's, that's right. What you're seeing is being processed through the advanced technology of this VCR I got. Yeah, final match. The only... <laughs> the only houses that matter, apparently. Oh my god. Oh, I guess- I guess I'm just going for that. Here we go. Here, yeah, gotta get that. I'm glad he's leaving all these loops for me to follow. Do I? Is it? Did I? Oh no, Angelina Johnson! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! No, can't nothing interfere with a broomstick except powerful dark magic. No kid could do that to a Nimbus 2000. And the quaffle is passed. Uh, oh, I guess I'm back just doing this again. <laughs> super, f super fun. <laughs> super duper fun. This is real fun here. <laughs> Oh no, Snape. 
Leave it to me. The dastardly Snape. Am I gonna have to do rings again? Yep. <laughs> Great. Look out for what? What are you talking about? What am I looking up? <laughs> what am I looking out for? Da 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 da. Ba 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 ba. Oh God! <laughs> oh no! Oh uh, Harry! Oh no! Did I fail? Oh God! <laughs> Hey, I'm back. <laughs> oh, this is this is no good. Honestly, this is no good. Man, it would be nice if it would like leave the loops somewhere I could get them. We could just like put these loops somewhere. Oh God. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. What are you doing? Stop judging me. Oh God, what a nightmare. <laughs> what an absolute nightmare. Did I get it? Oh, look at that Snape. Brandon, thank you for the $20. Jeez Louise. I just put Gengar's face on a cannoli. What are you gonna do about that, Obama? He's probably gonna kill you. He's probably gonna <laughs> he's probably gonna hunt you down. Hunt you down and kill you. That's what's gonna happen. Watch out. Watch out, stay safe. Stay safe, Brandon. <laughs> everyone, everyone pray for Brandon. Is that it? Am I done? Am I done with loops? Please say I'm done with loops. <laughs> Please. Well, that's unfortunate. Yeah, we did it, everyone. Well done, Harry. Yeah. Harry! It was Snape. Hermione and I saw him. He was cursing your broomstick, muttering. Dang, he Snape. Take you. I know a jinx when I see one. I've read all about them. We've got to go to Dumbledore. Yeah. Come on, Harry, let's go. <laughs> okay. All right. Wait, where? Where are we going? What? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Come on, are you? Are you coming? What are we doing? <laughs> Wait a minute. Hermione, are you all right? Are you coming? Run, I think Hermione's... Hermione's not doing well. I don't, something's wrong with Hermione, Run. I can't even see her anymore. <laughs> Run. Run. Jason, it's my birthday and you're making it a real treat with this stream. Oh, happy birthday, Drew. Happy birthday, Drew. Oh, that's right, it's your birthday. Today. Today was the day you entered into the world. It was a dark world then, it's a dark world now. But that's okay. You here makes it a slight bit better. <laughs> it's a little bit better with you in the world. Drew!
Anyway, uh, I guess... I guess your money's not coming. I guess, <laughs> I guess it's just me and Ron. Alright. Hermione, how did you, how did you get here? <laughs> what did you, <laughs> no really, how did you get here? You're gonna do that trick again, huh? You're gonna do that trick again, you're gonna stay behind. Well, I follow Rod, perfect. <laughs> Great. What are you three doing? We want to see Professor Dumbledore. See Professor Dumbledore? Why? It's sort of secret. Professor Dumbledore left ten minutes ago. I killed him. He received an urgent owl. Oh, wait a minute. No, that's... <laughs> I said that, that as a joke, and then I was like, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> yes, Mr. Potter. Gone. And so should you be. Goodbye. Into the fire, Potter. Into the fire. All right. Okay, well, that's... All right, sure. <laughs> hey, Hermione, what's... Oh, thanks. <laughs> anyway, I'm worn out. I'm off to bed. What? What? There's nothing more we can do. I'm for bed. Okay. I guess we're going to bed. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Some pacing problems here. Uh, here's Hufflepuff. Is this Hufflepuff or is this Ravenclaw? I don't remember. What was that? What was that an animal? Uh, this looks like a Gryffindor, right? 145. Cool. Now this is Ravenclaw. That's a that's a bird right there. 83. Yeah, that's a Ravenclaw number, all right. One thirty, hey. I missed half the stream. Uh, you probably missed like a third of the stream. I think I started a little early because I'm really wanting to beat this game today. So it might take a little longer than an hour. I don't want to play this game again next week. <laughs> I want to move past this. Look at how much better the dark scenes are. Look at this. The scenes. The scene was so dark before, but now that I've got to run it through my my very advanced VCR, it's like you can it's dark, but you can still see all the stuff. You can see all the details in Harry's boy face. <laughs> you can see you can see all the face details. All right, what do I gotta do? Nothing. All right, perfect. What? What? I never thought to look in here. I got this out of the library weeks ago for a bit of light reading. This is right. Nicholas Flamel is the Run, only known shut up. <laughs> stone. The what? Oh, honestly, don't you two read? Of course. Here it is. Nicholas Flamel is the only known maker of the Sorcerer's Stone. Uh -oh. The Sorcerer's Stone is a legendary substance with astonishing powers. It'll transform any metal into pure gold. And ah. It produces the elixir of life, which will make the drink. Look at this fireplace right here. <laughs> this <laughs> this <laughs> nice fireplace the shot. The currently in existence belongs to Mr. Nicholas Flamel, the noted alchemist who last year celebrated his 665th birthday. Well, no wonder we couldn't find Flamel in that A study of recent developments in wizardry book. Yeah, no but wonder. He's not exactly reason if he's 665, is he? That's what Fluffy's guarding on the third floor. That's what's under the trap door. Oh. The Sorcerer's Stone. The Come Sorcerer's on, Stone. Stop Snape. A stone that makes gold. Umbra, thank and you for the two dollars. No Can you say hi, to Becky, to my roommate? Yes. He wants the stone. Hello, the Becky. Room. Becky, hello. He how are you? Do how are you doing, oh, Becky? Are you okay? <laughs> Is everything okay? Is Umbra treating we you well as a roommate? Door. Tonight. You get along, you two? Is there everything okay there? In that, the third floor. In, that, in that place? 
<laughs> Sombra, is Umbra a good roommate? Are you a good roommate? Hello, Becky. How you doing? <laughs> I hope things are going great. <laughs> I hope things are going okay. I hope things in your life are, are all right, Becky. That's what I say. I hope things are all right. <laughs> I'm great, sure. Excellent. Wonderful. Becky, blink twice if Umber has you hostage. Yeah, Becky. <laughs> Becky. Yeah, blink. You can blink as many times as you want. I have no idea how many times you're blinking. That's not gonna... <laughs> That's a terrible method. Becky says hi back, Jason. I'm, I... <laughs> My brain just went back and forth trying to figure out if being said head ba hi back to meant that I should say hi again. <laughs> and the result of my... Oh my god. Hermione, I don't... <laughs> the result of my, uh... My mind thinking was... I have no idea. I hope we don't run into any teachers. Do you really think it's Professor Snape behind all this? No. I guess this is the, the door. Uh. All right, wait, am I, f am I following Hermione now? <laughs> it's Hermione, the one doing the stuff. This is Dumbledore's office? Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. Dumbledore just has a corner office somewhere. <laughs> alright, alright, cool. Lightning Ing! Thank you for the $2. Wild Weasel is my favorite Potter boy. Boyo, also hi. Wild Weasel is my favorite Potter boyo. Also hi. Juan Luizo is not my favorite Potter boyo, let me tell you. <laughs> oh no, the dog. Wait a minute. He's snoring. Look, it's obvious Snape's already got past Fluffy. If you two want to go back, don't be stupid. We're coming. Right then, I'll go first. Don't follow until I give a sign. If something bad happens, get yourselves out. Does okay. it seem a bit quiet to you? Yeah, jeez. <laughs> oh god, the rendering on that is really disturbing. <laughs> uh, I do not like. Yeah, eat run, get him. Uh, dang. Mr. Roboto, thank you for the 499. Jason, have you ever watched Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas? It's a two hour drug trip through the desert starring Johnny Depp is a bold journalist. Yeah, I mean, it, <laughs> that's just, that's just a, that's just a bold journalist. <laughs> it's, like, it's like a real person. <laughs> Yeah, Hunter S. Thompson. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, I've seen it. It's, yeah, I like it. I like Hunter S. Thompson stuff. I haven't seen it in a while. I don't... <laughs> there was a point in my life in which I was definitely into Hunter S. Thompson. I don't really know if I am anymore. I have no idea. I haven't read his stuff in a while. in the damp yes of course you have to cast a findo to get rid of the tentacles and then use incendio oh is that how this was solved <laughs> and I'll take this side <laughs> oh my god oh what wait a minute <laughs> oh god
Oh my god. Jesus. Oh, it's just not working, huh? Alright. <laughs> okay. Uh, I guess maybe I dock that up somehow. Yes, you're very, you're very good at whacking. Oh my god, no. Oh god, stop. Why isn't that working? I don't, why, why isn't that doing anything? Oh my god. Oh, too many wax. Hey, hey, no, stop. Too many wax. Uh, too, what? Too many wax. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. She said use incendio. Oh, yeah. Alright, hold on. One second. <laughs> I kind of, I kind of... I kind of forgot, you know. Alright, well, I'm gonna die. They just, just kill me. Just kill me. Thank you. <laughs> Here I come, I'm back. Harry Potter's back. Better, better than ever. Oh god, too many, too many. No! No, stop, stop, bad. I gotta do a better incendio. Yeah, I got an open incendio. Ah, uh, finally, it, it worked. I got one hit in. <laughs> I got one tiny hit in. Perfect. God. Nope, nope. Ah, oh, no. <sighs> the hardest part of this, honestly, is just getting it to properly target stuff. It really, it really just doesn't want to target stuff most of the time. Most of the time it's like, no, I'd rather, I'd rather just like, not do that. Good hidden. Uh, yeah, we're, we're doing real good now. No. No. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh uh, god, we're, we're doing good. You keep using Defendos? Yeah, no, you have to use Defendo on the, uh... On these things. And I have to use Defendo to open the mouth before I can incendio. <laughs> it's very complicated. It's a bunch of nonsense. Nathan, thank you for the $2. Oh wait, no, sorry, Dragon. <laughs> Dragon, thank you for the two Canadian. What's your favorite young adult book series? Whoa. Series? Oh, jeez. I can't answer that. I, I don't think I have a favorite young adult book series. <laughs> I don't know. I listened, I, I, uh, okay, what, what did I read? Okay, recently. Recently, the, uh, 
I listened to the audiobook of The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue, which is a young adult novel, uh, and I, I recommend that. It's not my favorite. Curious. I've never it's very good, though. Like I would... <laughs> The uh, the audiobook was read by the guy who plays Tom Riddle in the <laughs> Harry Potter movies. So he's got a very good voice. Honestly, that's the whole reason I ended up getting that audiobook, because I started listening to the preview. And I was like, man, this guy's voice is real good. This guy's got a super good voice. And then the book ended up being very good. It's a good adventure book. It's a, it's about it's about this 1700s son of this duke or something <laughs> son of this son of this duke and he's a real scoundrel and he's in love with his best friend Percy and Percy's like Percy's super cool and then him Percy and his sister uh Monty's sister that is they end up uh they end up going on this adventure with this box. <laughs> it's hard to explain. It's very good. Nathan, thank you for the $2. What's your favorite conspiracy theory? Nathan, what is my favorite conspiracy theory? Gosh. I don't know. What is my favorite one? I don't like a whole lot of them. <laughs> a whole lot of them are like, uh... Kind of, kind of, not great. Kind of a little. <laughs> Where's Ron? He went on ahead. Got what? some, some. Uh, it's a chess challenge. He's well, some, chess some like. He should have waited. Some bigotry we behind them, I together. guess. <laughs> Let's go in, so I like the wacky ones. Sure I like the stuff okay. like flat Earth. Things that are very, very silly. I guess flat Earth. That's that's what I'll go ahead and say. What if he's? He'll be all right. What do you think he's trying to do before he? I think we've got to destroy all the white pieces. <laughs> I'll go. <laughs> be careful, I really like this scene with Rod well, just. What do I do? They did this. Like <laughs> they did this in the PS One game too. Right? They just kind of killed Ron. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Ron doesn't do anything in this. When you're sure of which piece you want to move, this area. Which square, you make your move. Okay, I'll give it a go. Is this the same as that PS1 thing? Cause that that game definitely didn't make any sense. <laughs> Vlexus, thank you for the ten dollars. My cat best friend of 17 years passed away yesterday, so I've been feeling pretty down, but I'm glad to have the common comfort of a VGV stream right now. Please give Luca lots of love for me. I will. I will, Vlexus. I'm sorry. That that sucks a lot. Luca's, Luca's been, uh, like, sick on and off for for years, and, like, I'm, I'm dreading, dreading that day. I've lost some pets in my life, and I still think about them a lot. So I'm so I'm sorry, Vlexus. I'm yeah. Not not a whole lot else to say. It's just you know it's it's it sucks. It's painful. Every time I've lost a pet, I've cried a lot for a, ver for a super long time. So yeah. Do you know about the Avril Lavigne theory? Uh, yes, that one. <laughs> okay, okay, wait a minute. I, I revise. That reminds me of the, the smaller Luke theory. So the smaller Luke theory is my favorite conspiracy theory. That's the conspiracy theory that there's two Luke Skywalkers and one of them is slightly smaller than the other one. <laughs> That's an actual conspiracy theory. The Avril Lavigne one's pretty good too, the that one's that Avril Lavigne is... <laughs> Avril Lavigne was killed or died a while ago and was replaced by a clone or a lookalike. 
<laughs> and that uh and that the new Avril Lavigne is is trying to let people know secretly through messages in her work. <laughs> that one's that one's also very good, yes. Alright, well I don't really know this strategy here, so I guess I'll just start moving. Wait, it's my turn again? What? <laughs> Wait a minute, what? <laughs> okay. I guess it's my turn once again. This is, <laughs> this is how it just works. Black moves all their pieces, and then white moves their pieces. God. <laughs> Wait, how can you send messages if you're dead? Oh, uh, no, it's the new Avril. Like, I guess she's doing it. She's being forced to pretend to be Avril and to dress or something. I don't know. Alright, well... This is so bad. <laughs> this is so no good. This is how they play chess in England. Yep. Oh, uh, is this a trick? This is probably a turn. I'm probably gonna lose this piece. I don't know if that's okay or not. Well, we'll find out. Knight to E3. I can't believe that for this game, like the PS1 game had a chess thing like this that was complete nonsense. But somehow, somehow this game's come up with an entirely different type of nonsense chess to play. Alright, well, I, I'm definitely gonna lose this, huh? <laughs> King two, B five. Have some respect, her name is Melissa. Oh yeah, that's right, that's right. I'm, the, the, uh, the Avril that you see, her name is secretly Melissa now. <laughs> All right, well, that, I get this piece. That's good, this, this piece dies. That's sad, that sucks. Yeah, get that piece. Ah, oh, man, how am I gonna do this? <laughs> I don't understand how this is gonna work. How am I not gonna lose this? Those two pieces are too close. I can't get one without being being done got by the other. Yes, no, my my king lost, but this is not how any of chess works, so it doesn't it doesn't matter. <laughs> the king could die all the king wants. <laughs> They're moving multiple pieces. we're all moving multiple pieces at a time. I don't know why you would think the king dying would have any impact on anything. <laughs> Aha! Uh -huh. You've just made a fatal mistake. Great, perfect. <laughs> why would they even put chess in this game and make it nothing like chess? I don't know. I don't know why they made these decisions. They were bad decisions. I don't. <laughs> hey, we did it. We beat chess. I hope there's not like a bunch of chess boards like sure in the PS1 right. game. Listen, you've got to get him to the hospital wing. Then go straight to the Owlery and send Hedwig to Dumbledore. I might be able to hold off Snape for a while, but I'm no match for him, really. You're a great wizard, Harry Potter. You are, you know. 
I'm not as good as you are. Maybe Harry, your wand's just still on. Turn your wand off, Harry. <laughs> Harry, why are you sending magic energy through your wand right now? Oh man, I'm I'm getting real excited about there not being more chests. Oh god, thank thank goodness. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so glad there's only one board of that. Oh my god, I'm so relieved. You have no idea. There was like, there was like six or seven of them in the last game. You, Snape. He was a. Yes, does seem the type, doesn't he? Next to him, who would suspect poor stuttering Professor Quirrell? Uh, that day, during the Quidditch match, what a, what a, what a big him. twist here. No, dear boy. I tried to kill you. Ha 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 ha. Trust me, if Snape's cloak hadn't caught fire and broken my eye contact, I would have succeeded. Even with Snape muttering his little counter curse. Well, Snape's not here to save you now. Okay. Let's see if you're a match for these beautiful beasts. <laughs> Famous line for the scene. Let's see if you're a match for these beautiful beasts. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you wearing? What are these things? What? <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Yeah, you got me. This is how Harry defeats Professor Quirrell. <laughs> Professor Quirrell brings out his Quirrell, Quirrell beasts. Here they are, my Quirrell dogs. They're gonna get you, Harry Potter. My sonic Quirrell dogs. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I can't believe this is, this is even, even worse. The, the PS1 final fight. <laughs> Cannot believe it. Oh, perfect. No, don't. Oh, God, don't do it. Don't kill me. I'm just gonna slowly flashlight these dogs to death. <laughs> these alligator dogs. Man, it sucks. I just gotta... It sucks how long I gotta hold the flashlight on one of them while the other ones just kinda go and kill me. Kill the boy. Oh god. <laughs> Stop. L Lumos. Almost. Always got some health. <laughs> Always. Yep. There we go. Let's get out of here. Kill the boy. J.K. Rowling personally said it on meetings and made this scene happen. <laughs> yeah, she was like, "This is what the first book was meeting. Quirrell's dastardly dogs. They're like dogs, but also alligators, and they shoot sonic beams from their heads." Very important. I can't believe I left it out of the books. <laughs> My biggest mistake as an author. Oh god. Well, this is <laughs> this is nice and nice and dull. That's that's why that's why I like final fights. Just as. As slow and meandering as possible. Oh my god, what are you doing, Coral? Are you bringing more? Hey, what are you doing, Coral? <laughs> hey, hey, I had. I was doing so. Uh, I was doing pretty good. You can't just make more of them. Uh. 
Man, I hate how it doesn't continue hurting them. It's like you can hurt them once, but it just stops. It's just the hurt stops. I got you, Coral. You, so you son of a gun. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> so I whacked Coral. I don't know what... I don't know what whacking Coral does for me though. Yeah, you did it. You killed me. Yep, start right from the beginning. Great. Wonderful. Alright, hold on. Before I continue this, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and look at my walkthrough just so I don't spend like a whole hour just figuring this out. Okay. Use your Lumos as normal, but be careful as these guy trashes. These things are called guy. <laughs> these creatures are called guy trashes. All right. <laughs> these guy trashes will shoot out sound waves that can hit you. When you've taken enough health from the guy trashes, the blue ring will come down and Coral will start chanting. You need to hit him with a flippendo for, before he can complete his chant, or you will release another guy trash to replace one you have uh, already. Uh, what is it? Okay, guy trashes, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> if you thought the guy trashes were annoying or even the venomous tentacula, then you're gonna hate this. Uh, all right. Well, I'll I'll read that when we get to that point. All right. <laughs> Good to know there's something even more annoying coming up. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't understand why this works so poorly. So I gotta lower the health of the guy trashes, and then I gotta whap Quirrell before he gives more guy trash health. Ah, <laughs> uh, no. guy trashes just come try just try to defeat me Harry Potter <laughs> the boy the boy you lived the real real good boy who lived he lived he did it he, <laughs> he lived all right it seems like we're getting to the point where, where Quirrell's gonna like do a bunch of magic to bring the guy trashes back Yes. Got him. <laughs> cool. All right. All right, we're doing we're doing okay now. Oh god. No, we're almost dead. <laughs> no. Dang. God. <laughs> no, you all that guy trash health. Ah, oh, dang. Dang, this sucks. <laughs> this sucks so much. Right, I need this frog. It sucks that when I come back. Oh no. 
No! No! <laughs> don't, don't! Don't bring the guy trashes back! Stop! Oh, they're almost back up to full health! Jesus! I cannot believe this! Oh, what a... What a nightmare. This boss fight sucks so much. <laughs> this sucks so much. This is so bad. This is so extremely bad. Stop it! Alright, so... Is there any way for me to get health? Is, do I have any health potion vial? I guess I don't have any. <laughs> I'm dead. All right, the whole thing resets. Great, <laughs> perfect, wonderful. Thank you. Too slow, Potter. <laughs> God, God, this sucks. Look at that. Look, look at how little health. I just hit three of them. Three of the son of guns. Three of them all at once. It takes a tiny little bit. <laughs> No, don't. Uh. 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 <laughs> Ah, uh, dang. Nope. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. You got four magic dogs attacking this tiny boy. <laughs> and you have an infinite additional supply of dogs. Because, like, this is... Oh, God. This is not a fair fight. <laughs> There's nothing about this that is a fair fight. Well, I'm glad I got just a tiny bit of health for the rest of the entire fight. <laughs> just... Alright, he's gonna... He's gonna work his dastardly magic now, right? I can tell it's coming. The, the dastardly magic is coming. No, you son of a god! <laughs> son of a god, I need to defeat these dogs. These dogs need to get out of here. These are bad, bad dogs, Quirrell. Oh my god. No. <laughs> Please, please do not kill me, dogs. <laughs> no! Stomach quirrell! <laughs> god, you so- oh god. Oh no! Oh no, I'm dead! Oh, it all begins anew. Great. <laughs> the whole thing resets. It's super cool of the game to start me at half health with no of the healing items available. <laughs> Ugh. Why would they do this? <laughs> Why would they do this to me? Why would the game developers do all of this? 
Why? Why is this how they would make this game? God, these dogs. <laughs> Whoever programmed this game hates children. Man, whoever programmed this game hates life. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Oh, God. Every time I get hit by one of these dogs, all I can think of is, well, that means I'm not going to win this one. <laughs> that means, that means I'm, gonna, I'm definitely going to lose this one. You can't restart to where the three frogs jumping around? No, I can't. There's no, like, save point there. This is where the checkpoint is now. <laughs> this is... This is the checkpoint here. In this... In this absolute nightmare. God. Look at how long I had the light on them before and how it took literally no help out of them. the dogs like super fast but also they have projectiles and there's four of them and an infinite additional supply if I don't stop quarrel in time <laughs> it's like, and I have to stand here standing still waving a flashlight at them <laughs> a flashlight that I have to charge by the way <laughs> I can't I can't just shoot projectiles at them I have to charge this thing which makes me go really slow Uh, and then I can take just, just a tiny, tiny, itty bitty baby bit of health out of them. And when they're all together, it doesn't, it doesn't take additional health. I can only take, with one flashlight charge, I can take exactly one spot of health. No matter how many I point it at, <laughs> no, no matter how long. Oh, that one's dead. All right, so that means this guy, this guy, Quirrell. Quirrell's gonna try to bring him back. He's gonna try to bring his dog baby back. <laughs> oh, nope, I'm, I'm, I'm just about dead. One more hit, and we gotta start from the beginning. One more, like, regular dog hit. I, I don't know if the Sonic hits actually take health away or if it just knocks me down. I'm really hoping. Too slow, Potter. I'm really hoping that if I get to the point where, uh, where these dogs are done, then the checkpoint will move. Oh my God! <laughs> All these, all these dang dogs! Oh God! No! No! <laughs> Run! Run away. Get to the get to a part where you can see Quirrell in case he does his nonsense again. Why is this not <laughs> this is so... Alright, there's two dogs left. No! <laughs> no! Don't do it! I'm so close, Quirrell. <laughs> Just give me this. Oh my god. No. Don't eat me, dog. Oh god. Oh no! 
Well, here it goes, restarting. From the beginning, once again, <laughs> once again, right from the beginning. Yeah, just just kill me. Just kill me. I've gotten hit too too many times too early. Just just murder me. Let me die. <laughs> just kill me. Kill me. Gosh darn it, you cowards. Kill me. Kill me. didn't even do anything. <laughs> I hit three of the dogs with his light, and I was like, oh, no, I guess, I guess that did nothing. And look, I hit, I hit him with two, two more of the dogs. It did nothing. It did nothing. Oh, that was, okay. Now it, it did something. It does something sometimes. Sometimes it's like, yeah, I'll do, I'll do a thing this time. Your, fl your magic flashlight will work at this moment. I honestly don't know how this is programmed. I have no idea, <laughs> like what what the parameters are for it to decide is that I've done a hit on the dog, that I've done done hit the dog. Kill the boy. No, don't hit me. There's a weird hitbox for your spell. Yeah, I mean, there's definitely a weird hitbox for my spell. Like, that, that is absolutely for certain. But they get hit, that's the thing. It's like they, they react. <laughs> they make a reaction. But them reacting doesn't mean that they're gonna get hurt. Oh no. I pushed the wrong button. See, it's like, they're like, oh, oh no, you got me. You, you dang got me with your light spell. Alright. I gotta get ready for Coral. I'm missing a bunch of super chats. I'm sorry. This is a very intense battle. <laughs> this is a very intense battle. Oh no. No. Oh god. Oh no. The dog's back. <laughs> oh no. I got hit. Oh, it's all falling apart. I'll get to the super chats in a second. Sorry, my life is... <laughs> <laughs> My life is, uh, is all heck right now. Quirrell's super quick, too. Like, it doesn't give me a lot of time to react before he, like, resets the game with me. <laughs> with me still with the same amount of health. Like, it would be nice if there was some sort of health I could pick up. If there was like a little frog that would show up occasionally instead of... Instead of never. Alright, <laughs> oh uh, we got another one. Alright. Oh god, no! <laughs> They're too fast! They're too fast! The dogs are too fast! <laughs> They're just... They're just so fast! They're like the dogs from inside. You play that game? <laughs> you play that game? These are the dogs from inside. Only I'm stuck in a room with them. Alright, well, so far, zero damage on the dogs. Alright, I did one damage on the dogs. Nope. 
from us. I don't know why I even bother with like hitting the multiple dogs. Oh god, <laughs> this boy, it does not seem to seem to matter a whole bunch. I can hit all the dogs. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Dogs don't care. One of them just absorbs all the hit, and then the others are like, whatever. Alright, get ready for Coral. Coral's gonna try to bring that dog back from heck. God, no. Oh my god. <laughs> oh god. This is so much nonsense going. Oh no! <laughs> you see how quick that is! Oh, and how much dog life it brings back, too. God. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm dead. Alright, well, let me pause for a second and read some of these super chats. Alright, let's take a break for a second. John Lester, thank you for the five dollars. What if when Harry looked into the mirror, instead of the Sorcerer's Stone, it was, <laughs> it was a wizard card? <laughs> that's it. That's... That, that, that's it. Jeremiah, thank you for the four ninety nine. Thanks for the rad times and the comedy. You make a bigger difference in the world than you know. Well, thank you, Jeremiah. That's a very nice, a very nice message. I appreciate it. Seth, thank you for the five dollars. You're too slow, Potter. Professor Coral Book One. <laughs> famous, famous line. Arab silence. Thank you for the two dollars. A moment of silence for all, all the Harrys we've lost. Yep. All the dang Harrys. <laughs> They're all in... No, they're probably in purgatory. All these Harrys are in purgatory. <laughs> in fact, this is this is purgatory right here. This is this is Harry's trial. <laughs> Harry's waiting place with all the dogs. Oh my god, I'm getting worse at this. <laughs> Are there any cheat codes I can put in? Are there any cheat codes? Even a cheat code that just got me a little, a little frog, maybe. Uh, you just kill me. I'm, I'm doing too poorly. Just kill me. Murder me. Let me die. Cheat code, turn off the console. <laughs> yeah. Get him. Oh, God, that did no damage. Great. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. I guess so. You're right. You got me, Coral. <laughs> See, this is, uh, that's what Coral needed to do in the movies and the books. He needed to send all these dogs after Harry. His plan in the movies and the books, not so good. This one, very good. Look at how no debt. I've, <laughs> I've been hitting them over and over again. And it's just like, deciding my hits aren't good enough. God, the hitbox is that thing bigger than the waves, apparently. All right. Oh God, <laughs> no! <laughs> too many, too many dogs. Too many, too many dogs. How's everyone doing tonight? <laughs> I 
I can't believe like how both frustrating and also extremely dull this fight is. Kill him. Like this is this is somehow somehow this is worse than the PS1 quarrel fight, which was also very bad. I cannot believe that. I cannot, I cannot believe it. All right, we got it this time. We're gonna we're gonna do it. I mean, maybe we won't. It's possible we're gonna fail. <laughs> oh my god. Jesus. I didn't- <laughs> No! No! God, this game is so unfair. I cannot- <laughs> I cannot believe how in- Oh god. Alright, well, let's re reboot. <laughs> Restart again. <laughs> Gotta, I gotta stand there. I gotta just stand there shining this flashlight while the dogs jump on me. <laughs> God. Uh. <laughs> just an absolute nightmare. Just. <laughs> At least with like Dark Souls. At least with Dark Souls, there's like. You can get better at it. This is not really a get better sort of thing. Kill me. Kill me. <laughs> Kill me. What's the point of the pillars, I wonder? I can set them on fire, probably. I don't know if it's going to do anything. I can't target them, so no, it doesn't do anything. They probably are going to play some role later in another stage of this fight. Like, this is stage one. This is the very first part of this fight. There are additional stages after this. <laughs> this is just the first part you have to get through. Oh, God. <laughs> Those lunges they do! It sucks! Because they're faster than Harry. They're faster than Harry, so you can't get away. <laughs> the only way you can get away from the lunges is having already been shining the light. They can jump through the light. They have jumped through the light when doing their lunge. Oh, God. <laughs> yes, kill me, please. Please, please kill me. Please, please, you son of a gun. Get him! I think JK Rowling should send me like a thousand dollars for having to for having to deal with this. JK Rowling. JK Rowling, if you're watching, please send me a thousand bucks. Please do it. <laughs> please. please send me a thousand dollars. You really owe me one thousand dollars for having to <laughs> do this. Yep, no, too many hits. I gotta die now. <laughs> I gotta die. You have to kill me. You have to kill me. I've gotten hit too many times. Seth, thank you for the five dollars. Salatha Salam Ah Professor Coral Book. <laughs> Swicky B, thank you for the five dollars. This is in stark contrast from yesterday's dogs. Oh yes, it is. <laughs> These are right. yesterday's dogs, very good dogs. Today's dogs, just the worst dogs. Just absolutely the worst dogs. Man, so much light that I've shined on these dogs. So little. <laughs> it's not fair. There's four of them. There's four of them, and they're. 
they act like raptors. They swoop around. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save the game here. I'm gonna save in this slot. I'm gonna quit to the main menu. And then I'm gonna try reloading it. And I'm really gonna hope. <laughs> I'm gonna hope that somehow when it when it brings me back that the frogs are back. That's what I hope. I hope the frogs are back. <laughs> I really super hope. Oh my god. Okay, the frogs are back. Alright, I got... I got no health. So, I'm gonna go ahead and... Here, I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna try... Wait, what, what just happened? Did I loop? Did my health loop around? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna save again. I'm gonna see if I, if I start with better health now. <laughs> Seriously, I got... Okay, I, there was there were three. <laughs> no, you got to bars. Oh, did I get to bars? I got two bars of help. <laughs> Wait, what did you do to get the back and lose health? Jason, you have two health bars. Oh yeah, I do have two health bars. Look at that. <laughs> okay, cool. All right. I've started with two health bars now. Alright. Now I got two full health bars. So I'm gonna save. <laughs> I'm gonna save with two health scars. <laughs> I'm, gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna save with these two health scars. And I'm gonna quit to the main menu and I'm gonna reload with all of this health now. <laughs> Alright, I think I can do it with this much health. And also the frogs. <laughs> god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. It just starts. It just starts like right in the right in the action. <laughs> right right in the action with all the dogs. <laughs> Every dog on your tail. Just inches from death. That's how, that's how the save starts. The opening seconds of loading up your save file. <laughs> no time to think. You're just on the ground rolling. Oh god. It's okay. It's okay. We got help. Don't hit the frogs yet. We need to save those delicious frogs for later. Alright, 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 alright. Alright, yep, get, get the health, run away from the dogs. Get away from these terrible dogs. <laughs> Load up the charge. Hit the dog, wait until the life goes. Okay, the life went. Now I can run away again. Recharge. Oh no, oh no, the dogs! <laughs> Alright, hit the dog. Hit the dog. Keep hitting until... Oh. Oh, didn't get... Didn't, didn't, didn't do any damage that time. Alright, alright, alright. Get... Oh my god, they're all, they're all here. <laughs> the whole family's here. Great. Alright, run away, run away. Oop, oop, nope. God. Alright, alright, we're still okay, we're still okay, we're... We got so much health. Get in position to attack Quirrell. <laughs> Get into pos... Where's Quirrell? Oh, there he is. There's the son of a gun. All right, good. Oh no. Too slow, I know. We've almost lost a full scar of health, and that sucks. 
That's very bad. <laughs> That's very bad, but I still think we could do it. No, 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 no. Oh, no. God dang. <laughs> Alright, maybe we can't do it. It's possible we cannot, in fact, do this. I just noticed that Quirrell moved closer to the mirror now. <laughs> Quirrell, Quirrell is like harder to see in this save load because he's closer to the mirror. So it's like you really gotta be, you really gotta be on this side to be able to see him at all now. Oh, got two of them, huh? Alright, Flipendo, let's go get some more juice. Let's juice up. Alright, where's the dog? Get this dog. Oh, nope, nope. Yep, get, get the dogs, alright. I remember, Quirrell's gonna just be, like, spell-happy at this point. Quirrell's just gonna... Just gonna constantly be popping out, wanting to do these sweet spells. <laughs> dog. Oh. Uh, one dog left. We've never gotten to the point where we have only one single dog left. So this is... This is progress. Quirrell will bring one of them back very quickly. No! Alright, alright, good. <laughs> okay! I think we're at, we're at the point where we're gonna win. We're gonna beat stage one of this boss fight, maybe. Yes! Alright! <laughs> okay! Oh, thank goodness. Now, tell me, what do you see? Uh... <laughs> His face. What is it? What do you see? I... I'm shaking hands with Dumbledore. I... I've won the House Cup. He lies. Let me <laughs> speak to him. Master, you are not strong enough. I have strength enough for this. This is pretty sweet, Voldemort, here. <laughs> Oh my god, you're just Yes. You're just a you weird face, huh? Just a just a weird face. <laughs> what I must do to survive. Live hey, Harry. It's me, your old friend Voldemort. <laughs> That's right. It's me. How's it going, buddy? Of my own. But there is something that can something that conveniently enough Nice. Are you okay, Voldemort? <laughs> Do a lot of, a lot of inhaling. What? What? Wait a minute. What? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What? Careful, master. The mirror is protecting you. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you talking about? What? The mirror is reflecting your power back at you, master. Okay. All right. What? <laughs> Wingardium Leviosa. Dang. Wingardium Leviosa. Uh. Wingardium Leviosa. Oh my God. Save your own life and join me. Okay. Uh, what do I do? <laughs> Wait a minute, what do I do? <laughs> I guess I just kind of get hit by rocks for a while. Give 
Get some frogs and save. Yeah, I guess I could do that. Here's a frog. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Well, I'm just kind of hoping. I'm really super hoping that this is like a checkpoint. My worry is that if I load a save, that if I that if I save at this point, I'm gonna I'm gonna save. I'm gonna save. My worry is if I load this save, it's gonna put me right back with the dogs. All right, I'm looking at the uh, the walkthrough real quick. <laughs> No idea what's going on here. All right, to start this battle, you must avoid the flying boulders. All right, yep. Just keep moving, and you will hopefully avoid getting hit. Keep avoiding these boulders by running around until Quirrell starts a new incantation. You will know he's doing this as his wand will glow red. When he does this, make sure the white beam is connected to Harry to the mirror and stand quite still. Let the spell hit Harry, and he will absorb it. You must then let the spell charge slightly, and when it is glowing a brilliant white. Hit the A button to send it back to him. Okay. Make sure when you send it back you are facing Quirrell as it will shoot out in a straight line. So get good at aiming. <laughs> the timing on this takes a little practice. It can be touch and go, but bear with it. <laughs> it comes together in the end. Hit him five times when you have its toast. Alright. Okay, so... <laughs> uh, what? Alright. Alright. <laughs> great, great job, Harry. Okay, so I gotta just kind of wait around. Not get hit by rocks. Do get hit by Voldemort. <laughs> do, do definitely get hit by Voldemort. Oh my god. The aiming of this is gonna be so hard, especially because I cannot... I literally... I literally just straight up cannot do camera stuff whatsoever. Alright, alright, hit me. Oh, I hit him. Okay, I hit him once. <laughs> okay, I gotta avoid rocks right after hitting him. Cool, <laughs> cool. It's good to know. Oh, dang. Okay, I think that's two hits. I'm glad I have no health left. <laughs> I'm glad. Nope. <laughs> it's so hard to tell. Uh 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 uh. Too many rocks. Hey, buddy. Hey buddy, you wanna you wanna shoot me with a spell? Shoot me with a big old spell. Oh my god, so many of them! <laughs> I don't understand how how I'm supposed to consistently avoid those. Uh okay. It doesn't even stop this spell from working. It doesn't stop his spell. It sucks. <laughs> it should stop his spell. If I hit him with a huge, huge mirror parent energy beam, it should definitely, like, at the very least, stop the rocks from, from hitting me. Come on. <laughs> Come on, Voldemort. Do your frog trick again. I'm just really worried. I'm just really worried it's going to bring me back to the dogs. I absolutely do not trust this game to properly do that, to properly manage that save stuff.
All right, hit me, hit me, Voldemort. <laughs> this sucks so much. This angle, this angle is so bad. <laughs> oh, I guess that's a miss. <laughs> Yeah, just one more hit. One more hit and he's done. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, we did it. <laughs> oh god, what a, what a nightmare game. <laughs> We did it, everyone. This game was no good, but we've done, we've done it. We've defeated the dastardly Voldemort. <laughs> this, this game is finally slain. <laughs> we finally defeated it. It's all over, everyone. The nightmare's over. Dragon, thank you for the two Canadian. Money for, fin for that finally being over. Thank you. Oh my god. Oh no, Slug Voldemort. <laughs> oh god. Thank you, thank you, Dragon. I, I appreciate it. I'm feeling very relieved here. I'm glad we powered through and beat this. It took forever, but we did, we did, we did it. Uh. Does the stone ever come up again? No, it gets destroyed, right? Dumbledore blows it up. <laughs> Dumbledore just, just blows it up. Time for... Oh, I guess I'm, <laughs> I guess I'm back in class. <laughs> well, great, great job, everyone. <laughs> I want to do, uh, wanna do one more real close, Harry. Real close. <laughs> Harry freak. Hey, it's Harry Potter, everyone! Harry Potter, they, they, we did it! We beat the game! We, we beat the game, and now we gotta... I don't know. Go talk to Dumbledore, probably. Now, as I understand it, the points... Stand thus. Wait, are you just saying this in fourth place, Gryffindor Tower? Buff in what, wait a minute, why are you- <laughs> wait a minute! <laughs> why is this taking place in this room? In first place, <laughs> Gryffindor. I have a few last minute points to dish out. Wait a minute. Let me see. Did you just say first place, ah, Gryffindor? Yes. First, to Mr. Ronald Weasley for the best played game of chess. Hogwarts has seen what are you talking about? He didn't play it. He, got, he fell over. He was unconscious. Ten points. Second. He was unconscious. Hermione Granger. For the use of cool logic in the face of fire. Lord <laughs> Gryffindor House. Ten points. Third. To Mr. Harry Potter. For pure nerve <coughs> and outstanding courage. Uh, award Griffin yeah, fighting all those dogs. Ten <laughs> points. The house cup ceremony will be starting soon. We should make Who even saw the great hall. Very good question. Right, Harry. You don't want to miss this. We've got a real chance to beat Slytherin. Omar, thank you for the two dollars. What are you most afraid of? Having to play this game again. Oh, that's <laughs> that's the answer. Yeah, I hope we've got enough house points to beat Slytherin. I really Wait, didn't Dumbledore just say that we did, though? Oh god, it's gonna really make me just walk there. <laughs> you can't... Why is Dumbledore staying here? Why is... Why are they all just staring at Dumbledore? <laughs> what is going on? There is some weird stuff going on in this school, buddy. <laughs> Well, I guess I gotta walk all the way there. 
I'm glad this game couldn't just couldn't just have a sequence like a sequence of of uh, what do you call it cutscenes or something just to end it out. It really just is gonna make me walk. It's really gonna make me walk to the end. Hey, the game's over. Uh, the 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 game over part. You gotta walk to it. If you want the game over screen, you have to walk there. You have zero health, but you don't need it now. Oh yeah, that's right. Harry's Harry's like almost dead. <laughs> he's like he's he's seconds away from collapsing. Save this game. All right, sure. I don't think it's super important at this point. Like honestly, if the game crashes at this point, whatever. I beat it. Ernesto, thank you for the 50 ARS. Have a donation for all the pain you endured while playing this game, Jason. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, I appreciate it. Why hasn't it ended yet? I have no idea. I bet we've got enough house points to win the cup, huh? <laughs> Let's go in now. I want to see Malfoy squirm. Oh, I bet we have, bet we have enough house points now, Harry. Bet, bet we have enough house points now. Is that just Ron? It's just Ron looking at the house points. <laughs> a, a solitary Ron experiences the wind. <laughs> uh. <laughs> this is the most anticlimactic way they could have possibly done this. It's incredible. I mean, there wasn't even close. It was like so far from being close. <laughs> There's no dramatic tension whatsoever. The house point totals are being calculated. Oh, I wonder who could who could we the win? The end of another most eventful year at Hogwarts, and so for their many achievements and outstanding commitment to the school, it is with great pleasure that I present the House Cup to Gryffindor. Yeah, oh, what a surprise, right? Oh my god, those faces! <laughs> oh, very good. Why was Slytherin up there before? I don't understand. At no point in this game was Slytherin in the lead. Oh, it's over. <laughs> It's over. Here's here's the warthog development. Here here it is. <laughs> here's all the warthog development. Right here, this list. Warthog development. <laughs> Calculated there was literally a number on each points thingy. Yeah. Yeah, well someone had to walk over and just kinda look at it. And that someone was Ron. That was specifically Ron. Oh god. <laughs> god. <laughs> this game is over. It's over, everyone. We did it. We defeated this game. Oh, wow. All right. Thank you for joining me. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow. Why is there no music? I don't know. <laughs> they gave up. They gave up. They were, they were like, game, it's done. It's done. Who cares? <laughs> How many people have, are even going to get past the quarrel fight? Like 10. We don't need, <laughs> we don't need music here. Uh, next next week on Wednesday, I'm gonna be playing the next Harry Potter game. I've heard that that one. People keep telling me that that one is actually good, so we'll see if that's true. <laughs> we'll see if that's actually the case. <laughs> maybe it is. Maybe it's not. We'll find out together. And tomorrow, I'm gonna be playing uh, Barbie and the, as the Princess and the Pauper. Barbie as the Princess and the Pauper. That's a uh, Game Boy Advance game. Gonna be playing that tomorrow. Friday is Eternal Darkness. Eternal da Darkness. And then Saturday, Sega Saturn Day. Sunday, who knows? Okay, if you got any questions, if you have a question, I will answer a few questions before I go, but not too many on account of I'm real worn out now. I gotta, <laughs> I gotta go. Gonna go have a snack or something. 
What is your Hogwarts house name? Well, I imagine I would be in Ravenclaw. I hope I would be in Ravenclaw. Have you seen a movie called Johnny Bravo Goes to Bollywood? No. Johnny Bravo, is that, is that the Cartoon Network guy? Omar, thank you for the $5. Luca, or Jason, I guess, please help me. The people I care about have broken apart. How do I bring them back together? Uh, hmm. <laughs> How do you bring the, how do you bring them back together? What did what how do they fall apart? That's it. That's an important part of this. Like sometimes sometimes friends have fights. That's a natural thing. It's a thing that happens. But sometimes it's about something terrible and honestly they shouldn't <laughs> probably shouldn't get back together. Uh people do grow apart. It sucks when it happens. Most you know. But it's a thing that happens. There's usually like it's usually like not a lot that you can do to fix it so much as like be a supportive person to the people involved listen to their 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 complaints and their thoughts and their pain and uh and try to try to support them how you can like you'd be surprised how much that could actually help cuz when people when people feel supported when they feel heard it's a lot easier for them to heal and move past stuff so do that i guess <laughs> and be realistic about you know like see see what happened be realistic about what happened is one of them a scoundrel is, is one of them a scoundrel or, or, or is it just, uh, you know, just, uh, just different people clashing together? If one of them's a scoundrel, then honestly, I would be like, you know, take that scoundrel and throw him out the window. Get rid, get rid of that scoundrel. The window of your life, just toss them out. <laughs> toss them out the window of your life. Even if you live, like, a thousand stories up, just toss them out that life window. But if they're not a scoundrel, then, you know, listen to, listen to their pain. They may be a scoundrel, but they have so many points in stealth. Very useful. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you didn't tell me how many points in stealth they have. Omar, thank you for the $2. Different beautiful people clashing with the, uh, clashing each other. Uh... Oh, well, that's, yeah. Yeah, well, if, if neither of them are being scoundrels, then, uh, yeah, I would, I think, I think the only real thing that you can do, like, any, any scheme you come up with to try to bring them back together is probably ill-advised. I <laughs> probably, probably wouldn't do that, but, you know, try to, try to be a good friend to both of them. And, uh, you know, be, be supportive both if they don't want to get back together versus if they do. Life, you know, life, life goes in many twisting directions. Sometimes life goes all the way up there. Sometimes, sometimes down there somewhere. Sometimes over by that tree. Sometimes over by the other tree over, over there. <laughs> <laughs> That's life. I have to leave the stream for a few minutes. Will you be playing more Harry Potter games in the future? Is this the end? Uh, yeah, no, I'm next week I'm playing the next one. The Chamber of Secrets on the GameCube. Primarily because a couple people from chat kept telling me that that one's actually good, so we'll see. We'll see if it is. After this one, I'm not sure if I believe anymore, but, but I trust, I trust the chat people. <laughs> I trust chat. You're getting memed. Uh, what am I getting, on what, what am I getting memed on? <laughs>
Honestly, Chamber of Secrets is half decent. It got better reviews than this game did, so I don't know if that means anything. When has chat ever led you, led you astray? Oh yeah, I guess I guess that's right. I guess that's right. Chat has led me astray constantly. So, <laughs> all right. Well, uh, thank you all for tuning in. I gotta go now. It's been it's been a whole two hours. Glad I put in the extra time so that I never have to play this game again. But uh, uh, yeah, that's it. That's it, everyone. Omar, thank you for the two dollars. Thanks. Please make Luca impression. Reading life quote. Please make Luca impression reading life quote. You mean, use the Luca voice to read. Some sort of inspiring quote. Is that what, <laughs> is that what you mean? Uh, yeah. Let me hold on. I'm I'm literally just gonna Google. Inspiring quote. Keep your face to the sunshine, and you cannot see a shadow. There you go. <laughs> there you go. A champion is defined not by their wins, but how they can recover when they fall. There's another one. Each person must live their life as a model for others. That, that's one. Motivation comes from working on things we care about. No matter what people tell you, words and ideas can change the world. With the right kind of coaching and determination, you can accomplish anything. <laughs> Alright, there you go. There's some some quotes. Hope you like them. <laughs> that first one was horrible advice. Most of those are not, not like super good. Some of them are okay. I'm just reading off a nonsense <laughs> inspirational quotes website. I wouldn't follow any of this advice. But, uh, yeah, yeah, farewell, everyone. Have a great day, have a great evening, a great night, a great morning, a perfect, perfect, just full day. Until next time, farewell, everyone. I love you all. <laughs>